So what's going on everyone, it's your boy Kieran the Barber here and today is Transformation Tuesday people An awesome, awesome transformation for you So we have a side part pompadour for you today A classic, traditional British style, the London look as such So guys, first things first, what you want to do is you want to wet the hair down And style it into place Make sure it sits exactly how you want it to There's no lumps, bumps or anything in that hair So starting off with a half grade with my Andis US Pro Cordless Allies, just coming halfway up the hair, just below the occipital bone and just towards the temple. So what I'll do is, as you can see, I'm already flicking up and out using my C motion technique just to get that nice and perfect. Then moving on to my number two um, on my magnetic guards. Just to remove that bulk, I don't think there's a hell of a lot of bulk there, but I always like to give myself that number two just so I can make sure it's just cleared the air for me so I can start fading up. As you can see, I'm using my black and this fade comb. So what I'm doing with that is, um, it's black because Tim's hair is quite light, so I can see the hair a lot clearer through the comb. And I'm just coming up at a 90 degree angle, making sure Tim has a symmetric haircut all the way around. Now with my number one guard, I flick between uh, my half grade and my number two and it just flawless fade. It's literally as simple as that. You don't need to make a fade overly hard. You just use, use your car, use your grades, use your knowledge because knowledge is power and you just flick. And look, look how faded that just becomes, like pretty much instantly. It's as easy as that. So now using my Kenchi scissors, um, I'm using the Evolution pair. Go check out the link below. I'm about to show off with some scissor work. So I love nothing better than doing scissor over comb. So with scissor over comb, it's just the best thing that I, I just love doing it. Even when I'm doing, regardless of whether I'm doing scissor over comb or if I'm doing clip over comb, I tend to keep my comb at a 90 degree angle, just so it lays symmetrical on the hair. It's a little tip for you guys at him.
Now on to probably my favourite tool in my box, the Slimline Pro LIs. I don't think you get a better trimmer than this on the market at the moment. It is so good. So I'm going to shape just Tim's hair up. I leave the rest of that natural. I just like to shape in that corner. And I start by slowly tapping and slowly pressing on the hair. Now again with my Kenshi scissors, Kenshi, Kenshi, I haven't actually learned how to say it yet which is pretty bad because they're flipping awesome. Take the hair up, come back, just look how sharp they are, <laughs> straight through the hair, it's awesome. And then what I do is I, I do that all the way through the hair, getting them corners off, and I'm going to run my um texturizing shears for it just afterwards just so it sits a little bit softer at the back and the front So now with the Bluebeard Chavette, I'm just going to make that hard part sit nice and sharp in Tim's hair. Getting that nice and clear so everyone can see how sexy Tim looks. You know, he's going to walk around afterwards with my haircut on his head, striding his stuff, looking awesome. So to get the best and to get the most, um, I say to get the best, to get the best lift out of this haircut, you're going to need to be using Johnny's Chop Shop Trigger Happy Texturizing Spray. It is honestly one of the best sprays out there at the moment. So the more you spray, the more grittier the hair gets. It's as simple as that. I'll massage that into the hair and I'll start blow drying. God damn, look at Tim's hair. 
Look how that's lifting. Now a bit of wildcat hair clay to keep it in place. The best thing about wildcat hair clay is you can put it through your hair and it leaves it a very, very natural kind of dry sort of style with the hold, the hold it needs to stay up. A little tip for you guys, always butter both sides of your bread. If you're um, putting wax just through the front and the back, then all the hair underneath that is going to sit dry. So I always recommend put hair through the front and then come back around through the back. So with my shark tooth comb, um, it has white teeth on it to give it that natural defined look without having to the hair sort of looking like it's been combed through because it has a very very natural style to it. And to finish off, as we always do, a bit of power hold hairspray. And li li I'm literally just tapping, tapping it onto the hair. Doesn't need a lot, it needs the tiniest bit ever. Just so that hair can stand on it. So guys, 20 seconds for things you may not know about me. Even though I'm from Britain, I am a massive, massive basketball fan. Basketball is life. Ball is life. Um, people may not think I'm a basketball fan because I follow the Knicks. Whoop, whoop. Let's go Knicks. Um, so that is my fact for this video. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really, really hope you sub, like, peace out, people.